Welcome back to Jail Time Pod. It's your host, Red. We have a video today from Morocco TV. She ruined her brother's life for OnlyFans. Please exhort them below. I really appreciate it. Let's get that chat. It's Jail Time. As I've been like leveling up, you know, in my career, like what's the craziest thing that's happened to you so far? So this is one kid. I'm not going to mention names. He is obsessed with you. Every time I'm on the bus, he takes his phone and he goes, Oh, look, it's your sister. You know, and he, and he, he goes like this. Oh, look at this. Yeah. Are you okay? Absolutely. Do you no, care? And they ask me, is it pink? I just tell them, pay for it and find out. So this absolute muppet is an OnlyFans girl and that's her little brother talking about how people at school are bullying him and teasing him because of what his sister does for a living. And the worst part about all this is she's used her little brother to promote her OnlyFans in the past. Flashback. So how does it feel to have a sister that has an OF? My friends always ask me if it's pink, but I don't really know what they mean by that. Do you, do you know? Oh, Jesus Christ. Click the link in my bio. Just... I can't. See, what disgusts me the most about all this is she's probably told him to say that and has continued telling him to say that so he continues promoting her OnlyFans when it's her little brother. The kid's now probably become so brainwashed that he's numb to his sister's fucked up behaviour and whether the last clip is just more disgusting promotion or the kid's actually getting teased, she doesn't give a shit because if she did, she'd delete her OnlyFans. Her and her parents allowing this all need Michael. Money is a horrible drug. Once you have a lot of it and you're... you're, you're you're addicted to it. It's hard to go back. That's why they can't leave that industry. Get some help. Do you think I'm a good sister? No. You didn't go to my wedding, but you came to my divorce, huh? So what? I want to see you happy. <laughs> 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 Tell me a sound that's better than this. Damn right. My man. God, I love that sound. There was a like, couple instances where I was like stalking other people on social media, like other girls, and um, she found out about that, and that broke her heart, which broke my heart, because I don't want to hurt somebody that cares about me. If I like, if we're just being completely honest with you guys, I think watching like um corn and stuff like that is a very unhealthy addiction and it's i didn't even realize because i was never been in a relationship before but i had no idea the damage that that could do to someone if you're in a relationship and you care about the girl that you're in a relationship with um just don't watch videos like that because it hurts them more than you could like know i mean whether you're in a relationship or not stay away from but the irony of this situation is the guy's a streamer who was dating an OnlyFans girl and now it sounds like they've broken up because she found out he was addicted to similar content that she makes and promotes. <laughs> God damn it! You can't make this shit up! Honestly, I reckon it might have done him good. Maybe he stops on and he's not dating this Muppet anymore that was probably using him for his money and to promote her OnlyFans. Because a lot of these OnlyFans girls are dating these nerdy streamers for promotion. They don't give Nope, there's a lot of them. I actually had a friend that just told me, oh, you should cover this TikTok guy. He has like 3 million followers and he has like nothing but hot chicks trying to like, you know, be on his stream and stuff. I'm like, gold diggers. The shit about the guys just for the money. What's your biggest turn off? My biggest turn off is facial hair. Google the richest women in the world, like where they got their money from. It's rough. It's rough out there, guys. They, they ain't fucking starting businesses. <laughs> They're marrying dummies. <laughs> it's almost rich. all of it is divorce. Feminists do not want to hear this. But there was one woman who was the richest woman ever from uh, a startup company. Elizabeth Holmes. She had a, ran a company called Theranos. She started herself, dropped out of college to start this company, and it was a total fraud. 
It was all fraudulent. She's going to jail forever. So basically, to become one of the richest women in the world, you need to marry a rich man and then divorce him. Do you think you will be more physical? Or scam the shit out of millions of people and... Really attractive in 10 years time starting with you in 10 years yeah I'll, yeah i'll stay the same okay so you're 26 you'll uh, be just as attractive at 36 than as you are now at 26 what about 46 probably mm -hmm. the same yeah 30 years 56 sure are you just trolling or i'm not trolling i'm being for real 40 years i think we'll 66? probably tap out at 66 66 or... is the peak you think of your attractiveness yeah sure why will you be more physically attractive at 56 as compared to now at 26 why? Because I'm going to be the same person I am, which is a pretty girl. I'm a little confused though. You said you were a 10. How can you possibly be a 10 now if you'll be better looking in 10 years time? Because I'll be an, an 11 in 10 years time. It's Are you going to engage in, in good years. faith or just troll? I'm not trolling. I'm being for real. She already looks 36 when she's 26. So in 10 years, she's probably going to look like she's pushing 50. She's delusional, but not as delusional as this next Muppet. How much money does a man have to make to qualify for you? At least a 500,000. Come again? I mean, definitely six figures is the bare minimum. But you said like, isn't 500K like, that's 1%? No. I would Not say- Not even, that's like 0 .01. Because I would say at least a million dollars for retirement so we can live in Europe. Wait. Doesn't that sound almost insane to say at, at, at your age that you expect a man with a million dollar nest egg to take you to Europe to, to give you your happily ever after? That's not delusional to you? Nope. Most men, by the way, in your age bracket are on a social security fixed income retirement. I've met them. They're out there. I don't think I'm delusional. I don't know, that guy said he was a multimillionaire and he'd rather be with a 52-year-old with a son than but, a young girl. So there are men out there. I think you missed the part, that message he was said he was joking. It was sarcastic. Oh. It was, what are you, fucking stupid? You're gonna let me know if this is considered a date, okay? okay. If he takes you out to dinner. Yes. Yes? Absolutely. Does the level of the dinner matter? McDonald's. If it was his idea mm -hmm. and he paid, I think that's a date. What if it's just to go get ice cream? Yes. If he asks you to go on a target run with him? I would love that. That's my type of date, <laughs> yeah. Okay, all right. Yeah. What if he just says, come over and cook? That could be a date? Yes. Come over and watch Netflix? No. No? That's okay. not a date. Movies? That's a date. Archery? That's a date. Golfing? Yep. What if the guy thinks it's a date? He wants to ask this girl out. She's not that interested, but she wants a free meal. So she goes on the date. Is that considered a date? That's a date, but she's wrong. Okay, that's fair, that's fair, that's fair. <laughs> she's wrong. That's fair, that's fair, that's fair. That's fair. He asks you to go on a time. walk. Yes. He says, I'm outside, let's go on a walk. If it's you just you two, if it's like his idea, it's y'all two, anything can be a date. See, a good woman like this one seems to be that actually likes you will not care about how much you spend on a date. She just wants to spend time with you and see that you've actually made an effort. So don't waste your time with the types of women that say that you need to spend a load of money and flash the cash. They're the fake ones. Holy Ooh. cow. Grizzle, grizzle. Face to face with me. Get out of there. <laughs> what the fuck? Whoa. <laughs> Holy shit. The bear man, the bear heard the lady. He was like, dude, I feel sorry for you. And it ran off. <laughs> Jesus Christ, were you sleeping? No. Keep the women with you. Don't send them, don't send the women our way. We're living our lives hibernating. <laughs> Holy cow. He's coming back. He's coming back. I just want to know how that chair is supporting the weight of that man's huge cojones because he didn't even flinch or uncross his legs. Our house is my husband's kingdom. If you act up in our household, it is not above me. You want to see me as a see you next Tuesday? I would prefer that because you're not going to disrupt the energy of my home for my man. Mm, I love that. Mm -hmm. House is hers though. That's her domain. I don't do anything in there. And like I have my whiskey room. You do. That's mine. <laughs> and I have my little work area, but the house is hers. If she's like, I want to do, I'm like, do it. I, this, is your, this is your domain. You make sure that I have the peace. 
I've, I've provided you the house. You've made it a home. Like I don't have to worry about any of this. And she doesn't have to worry. Like she doesn't know her car payment. She doesn't know how much car payment is. I handle all of that. She handles half of our life and I handle the other half. Damn right. But the, yeah. the combined living situation is whoever's got the energy to get it done. Let's be honest though. Most of us men do not need much. We can live in a room like this and we'd be happy. So when a good woman comes in and brings us peace and makes the house a home, it's even better. You do not have to accept her rejection. Yeah, you do, you donut. And also what? chasing a woman who doesn't want you makes you a sim. Does it make sense? <laughs> no. I'm sorry. There's nothing you can say to me that you can do for me. Could, nothing you can do for me. I, I could, could block them. I could I could even call them right now. Yeah. Yes, I'm working on No. Please. Sorry, please. No. Please. This is what's gonna happen. No, I don't, I don't Look, I get it. Look, 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 look. Stop stopping, girl. We in an apartment, girl. Get up, get the fuck off your knees, bro. Please, I'm not. I can't keep talking. Ask me to beg me for nothing. Go sit down. No, I don't want to. Look, I prom look, it sucks, right? Because <laughs> I was willing to do anything and everything for you. Really, I really was. If she cheats, she belongs to the streets. Yeah, the delusional factor does not go away as they get older. Even in their 50s, they're still just as delusional as they were when they were kids, thinking that they could deserve millionaires, billionaires, trips to Hawaii, Italy, or wherever the fuck they want to go. No, ladies, no. Please subscribe down below. I really appreciate that. Catch you next time. Ciao.